So if you're only missing one tooth, why a dental implant over a traditional bridge? Well, the most important thing is bone loss, Randy. So if we can put a tooth in that, that area where you're missing the tooth, we can preserve the bone, which stabilizes the whole arch. So a lot of people think that, well, if they're missing one tooth, well, it's not a big deal. And maybe a bridge is an option for them too, if they don't have enough bone or they don't want to go through a surgery. Um, so a bridge could be an option, but a dental implant is so much better because it preserves the bone and it, it, you could treat, treat it just like your natural teeth. You can floss around it and brush it. In fact, you forget that you have it. My wife has a dental implant. She doesn't even know which tooth it is because okay. it fits just right in the rest of her mouth with the rest of her teeth. And so how long do they last? So the dental implant is like a permanent option. Once it integrates in the bone, it becomes part of you. Okay. And the part that goes on top, they're almost indestructible now. You know, and, and in the long run, we think it's less expensive because you're not going to have to replace it. Like a bridge, over time, that bridge may get decay under it. It may get bone loss around it. You may get uh, gum disease around it. It's, it's, it's dependent on the two teeth that hold it in, whereas a dental implant is only dependent on that one area. So if you're family member was missing one tooth. You would never do a bridge? I have done you would always do an implant? I have done implants on almost uh, most of my family members actually. Okay. So when my family members lose a tooth they get a dental implant if I can if I can do it.